We made a film, Cecil. Don't you even remember that? The facts, Miss Carol. Yes, I do remember it, Paul. It was very good. How many views has it got so far, Paul? Shut up. How many views? No, oh, bloody, I'm not liking this. It's a will. Oh, ping. What? Oh, I saw something. Part one has got something like 38 views, and part two. Last time I checked, I had 15 views. That took me a week to make that film. I'm never bothering again, Cecil. Maybe if you want some rubbish, Paul, people might actually want to watch it. Doubt it. <laughs> I've got flims. You got them from my family friend, Jonas. Yeah, man, she can pretty well keep them. She's the bitch that brought the children. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh. <sighs> You're going to build up that aggression about the Advent calendar chocolates all year, aren't you, Paul? Yep. Obviously next year. This year I had... Um... Th oh, you... Come on now. This year I had 14. Obviously next year. I'm going to have to get some more. Anna. Here we go. <clears throat> Bastard. How many do you think you'll get next? This year. Technically. Five. Five? Yeah. Five. Why five, Paul? Had my own Sophia survived too, back home, or in this world? One had drowned, and the other... What are the odds of surviving a tornado? I don't know. Six. Six. Sixty-six. Pay on some sticks. Now what do I do? I think there's invisible steps. And I'm wrong. I don't like this. That's a wall. A tool? At all. I'm as a person to know where to go if it's invisible. Eh. Paul, that's half the fun, isn't it? No, it's not any fun at all, is it, really? Honest, I cannot tell what the hell you're saying these days. No, I don't care. I don't care. So, oh, you flipper. Why what, Why is this even remotely fun? Oh, son of a bitch. Glad I only paid 20p for it. 20p? It's either 12 or 11 or 20. I can't remember. Mm. Mm. I just wanted to see it. Oh, f, f off. Oh, you swear. <laughs> ah, I'm a genius. Are oh, you? <laughs> Burps and uh, smells of fig cheese. I did that. I did that and that happened. How's this fun? Just, uh, I'll randomly guess, uh, I'll walk into nothingness and see what happens. I'll just keep randomly doing it until some bullshit comes along and then it just happens sense. I pass the per 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 What? I'm drunk and furious, Cecil. Why? Oh, hello. That's not. But now, I mean, how... How now, Brown... Oh, hello. Is that just him being rubbish at jumping? Just him being rubbish at jump. Oh, no, there's a bit of a play there. And right, then it's doobly do, do, doobly do. Oh, this is good, isn't it? Uh, oh! Hello. 
feel like Michael Winner, Cecil. You look like Michael Winner as well, Paul. Oh, thank you. That's nice. I'm a nice old pretty boy. Shit. Right. Yes. pump? No, hoofle pump, please. Thank you. Successo. Poofle pump? That's right, Pomplamoose. Pomplamoose, I found you. So, um, Paul, please, tell me. What? Do you have a New Year's resolution? I never to play this pissing game again. Thought it'd be... Oh, mind. 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 Path to Thalmon. Like it is artifacty. Ladies, if you're watching this, I uh, I like to be artifacty. I, I like to go to the theatre and get some small binoculars and put them on my eyes and put my forefinger and thumb to my lips and go, hmm. Yeah, steep, deep themes there and uh, the symbolism is it's not lost on me. I'm very clever, very intelligent. Uh, I know what symbolism is. Um, I understand the metaphor. I understand the metaphor five as well. You know, I'm that clever. Okay, now the cloudy bosom's puffed up. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I don't know. And I'm entirely sure. One edge is pink, one edge is blue, symbolizing the male and female um, aspects of. Everybody, the, the animus and the anima, of course. Uh, um, <coughs> oh, hello. Got a little blue ball. Gotta put it somewhere. Put it somewhere, Nance. Dumpy, 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 dumpy. No, Paul, hmm, yes. Um, um, tell me. What? Tell me, please. Um, you need a resolution. Um, I think this year I will have it at 1920 by 1080. Uh, that's a HD resolution that computer monitors and televisions come in. Uh, yes. No, um, Paul, please. Please, Paul. Yes. What? Calm down, you old tip box. Perfectly calm, Paul. I'm just getting a little bit excited. It wasn't all doom and gloom. <laughs> there was a time for light. Seeing her grow up into a curious little know-it-all. <laughs> I remember the both of us laughing at the weatherman on TV. She was so funny. Why? Before she died, because you were a cowardice. Huh? Ooh. Would you the left or would you the right, Paul? Come for left, because there's plants. Huh? Don't like that. Don't like it, Cecil. It's an alien, re re alien, alien game all over again. Still have nightmares about that game. Oh, oh, no, I didn't want to go down here. Shit. Come back. Stay your ass to part, isn't it? Did you ever write into points of view, Paul? I did actually write into points of view, says Elias. What? Well, why? Wrote into them about um, the Antiques Word Show. For those that don't know, points of view used to be you could write into the BBC. And complain, have a right to reply. Um, and we used to do that several times, but uh, one time we were out to the Antiques Roadshow because they'd. Uh, oh. 
they had a praise to carriage clock that we had. <clears throat> they said it was worth <laughs> a lot of money, and it won't work, it's <laughs> I know. I've just got an achievement, Sissel. Night shift, it says. Oh, flump. Can you remember your letter, please, Paul? Yes, um, dear babies, um, my father and I, and mother, um, have just sat through your antiques based darkness, oh. a barrier unto itself. Sophia had loved those fables of good and evil. White lies for children. I couldn't delve into the blackness without any light. That much was easy to grasp. <coughs> and my mother, dear Bibbison, my father and I and my mother have just sat through your antiques word show. Uh, on it, Eric Sykes. Eric Sykes? Eric Knowles, sorry. It's just a praise a Red X carriage clock. Um, giving it an auction value of £222. This, however, I feel is inaccurate and incongruous with... Can I just dive off here? <laughs> but, 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 mm. Now, shift. With my own feelings on the subject, we, my father and I have bought said clock well, how did I walk off the edge then? Like a Jesus. No, I didn't. Uh, we, oh. we purchased said clock from Argos for a humble £20. Well, 1999 to be specific, actually. Paul, you're really boring me. Yes. Um, and, and I would like um, you to reappraise this. Thank you very much. Oh, damn me. And did you get a reply, Paul? <laughs> yes, I did, actually. Oh, did you? What did you? What did you? What did you? What? 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 Oh, I've lost my ball. You are a ball, sister. Pip <laughs> What did they say, please? Tell me. They just said me. What are you can do about it? It's not our problem. Hang on, what happened then? What happened then? It's still there. Womp. There it is. Womp, there it is, Cecil. So they just give you the short shrift, don't they, Paul? A pity much, yes, Cecil, yeah. Right, I see, well, that's a shame, isn't it? Not really, couldn't care less, to be honest, I was just bored. I'd hand cramp from masturbating too much, so I thought I'd write my letter. Paul! Well. No one's got this far anyway, Cecil. They might have done, Paul. But they aren't, though. There's no might. Oh, fuck. Crying out loud. This is to the last. You're tedious. <sighs> Making you yawn. The red man's not there anymore. Good. That was frightening to me now. Try that to me then as well. Right. Uh, so, see what you've done there, Cecil. You've already been this way. There's nothing. Just a sort of solid wall. How do you know it's solid? And you can't trust your senses, Cecil. That's true. Very true. Yeah. Have you seen anything of Jeremy Cream since Christmas? Well, he came to the party. What, what party? Nothing. I bet you had a party, didn't you? Without me. As usual. Oh, I know. As usuals. We did, actually, Paul. We went to the pub. All got to have a radio fact to get together without you. 
I'm not surprised. <laughs> and why didn't you invite me this year? What's your excuse? I need no excuse, Paul. Just didn't want to invite you. I like you very much. Oh. oh, I see. That's, that's fine. I'm used to that. Actually, I'm used to that as well. <laughs> Stop yawning. It's like a sad face. You have a nice time, Bernard, going to Leeds and Lincoln Christmas markets. Yes, I had a wonderful time. Tried some Bratwurst meals and some Schnickenhausen. It was very nice. What is Schnickenhausen, says so? Not telling you. I thought something might happen there, but it didn't, did it? Ah, oh, fuck, right out loud. This is really boring, says so. This is really boring. But it's this boring to play through. Imagine how boring it is for me watching you. <sighs> Gonna keep playing it just to spite you now, Cecil. Grumpy old diddy bad. My grumpy. Did you have a new year's resolution, Cecil? I can't remember. It seems that long ago since we were talking about it. I've done it. I'm a genie anus. I'm just an anus, pal. My New Year's resolution's to be nastier to you. Because I think without your mother's... My, your, someone's mother's input. You're getting a bit big-headed. Your ego's ridiculous. You're a nasty fat boy. No, I don't care if I'm fat, so. Well, you should do, pal. Why? Because your clothes stop fitting you. Okay, if your clothes fit me, I'll go around without anything on. Nobody wants to see that, Paul. Yeah, but I do I like it. I like looking at my own bits and bubbles. I like. I think other people would like that in Tesco's. From getting my packets of rice cakes and my my bottles of brown sauce that I like to drink. Mm, I could go for a pack of rice cakes and brown salt sauce right right about now. And that'd be nice. That'd be really nice. And would you the left or would you the right palm? What? What was that? That was me on the south wall. Stop being silly, Cecil. No, I'm not going to play on. Alright, fine, keep talking and I'm not bothered. Oh, come on, Pop, rise to my bed. Snap at me. I like it. Not bothered. Meh. Oh, God. I'm turning my other cheeks. Well, you've got a lot of flipping cheeks to turn, Paul. You can't get to Miss Ethel. Oh. Jump down the anus. It's not an anus, Paul. It looks like where the aliens from aliens live. Remember, they're going to get trouble. Maybe they aren't, maybe they aren't, Cecil. I just don't know how to do it. Please, Paul, stop it. Dirt, 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 Cecil, please. Come on, now. You remember this time last year, Paul? Started playing with Jeremy Cream, didn't we? That's right, Cecil, we did. Let him play DayZ. DayZ? DayZ. I don't know how you say it. Should we get Jeremy Cream on the phone, Paul? Nope. He's not home anyway. Is it not where it is? Is it Is it stepsisters? Um, Who's not got a stepsister, Paul? That's what he told me. He said, don't ring me. I'm at my stepsisters all weekend. Because then I like to ring him every weekend, don't I? I think I just don't want to speak to you, Paul. 
I'm, I'm not ringing him, Cecil. But I miss him. Why? I think it's fun. You think he's rich, that's what you think, Cecil. No, no, not fun. I like playing in his house. I bet you freaking do, Cecil. Um. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Am I know. Just wanted to walk around and see a tornado. At least Dear Esther had some kind of story, and a man talked about Bothy all the time. It is a Bothy, we never did find out, did we? Oh shit! <sighs> Even this is too avant garde for me, Cecil. Pretentious, Paul, you mean pretentious? Avant garde, Cecil. Intellectual ladies might like me. No one's gonna in like you, Paul. You're boring. Path of the Penitent Man. Oh, sod it! 